Hey guys, welcome back. Today's tool demo is going to be on Nmap. It's your bread and butter for reconnaissance. Uh, it's a great port scanner. So we can run it with Nmap and then you specify an IP or a URL. So you can do a regular IP like this. Um, or you can do a URL. So we can just, I'll just do mine for the video. Um, Nmap, my URL and it would run but anyway um, yeah there you go it finished really quickly shows you what is on my server what's running on there these are these of these services um, but we can actually get more specific results than that um, so say you wanted to look for all ports in a, a server on a server running so we can do dash p dash space and this will scan uh, all the 65,000 and then some ports that are on hackguru.tech will detect what's open um, I'll just run that in the background we can open up new tab I'll just keep doing that um, so next we have nmap dash sv um, this will scan for open services on an IP. So let's run that also. Okay, looks like our previous scan finished. Um, we'll look at all the scans at the end. I don't want to jump around Windows too much. So, okay, now one scanning SV. Let's open another tab. Um, to scan for open ports, say you didn't want to look for open services and you just wanted to scan for open ports, it's nmap-open. Um, Alright, I'll leave that one running. Okay, yeah, actually they, that one finished before you could exit the window out, but as you can see it doesn't show much as, as much data as this one does. This is a uh, scan with dash sv, the uh, dash sv option. So next um, we can do nmap dash uh, o for to detect our uh, operating system but if we wanted to, to, to detect our operating system and the services we can do nmap dash a uppercase a and then our URL here wait for that one to run and I'll go to a new tab uh, next there's the uh, dash F option nmap dash F and that will actually get around firewalls sometimes uh, and it fragments your packets so that's a good command for firewall evasion uh, next if you wanted to pipe in a list of well not pipe in but if you wanted to input a list of uh, targets it's nmap dash lowercase i uppercase l your target list dash text that'd be if you had a list with a bunch of IPs on each line and it would scan each one of those sequentially next if you wanted to do scan uh, UDP boards UT, UDP ports it's dash lowercase s uppercase u then dash p then uh, the port say you wanted to scan everything from port 5 to port 100 uh, that would work um, next um, I'll show you the version intensity command so nmap dash sv once again then dash dash version dash intensity and five I believe the max level is five it can be one through five and this will make your service scan more aggressive so that means it's more detectable um, and then finally the command for out saving your output to a file is nmap dash lowercase o uppercase n and you put in output dot text and your output will be there so 
um, you'll be saved in output.txt instead of on here, or it will be on here and there at the same time. So, okay, so let's go through the scan, see what came up. Wow, this is a long one. So nmap a, you can see why importing it into a file is so important. Um, it just found all this information on dash a because our scan was uh, aggressive, more aggressive than the default one actually. Um, and here's the dash p it scanned all the ports so it actually found other ports that were not um, known um, yeah so um, I actually really like looking at this dash a scan here but uh, just looking at scan results makes me excited so <laughs> anyway guys uh, that's all for today. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you haven't already, please check out my website, hackguru.tech. Um, and if you have any videos you'd like to request that I make, please drop a comment. All right, that's all for today, guys, and bye-bye.